welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Boise State has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Back to return. Nicholson has it at the five, and he's tackled at the 31-yard line. The Bears and their ground game's always been sensational, and it's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get the guys and make tackles in space. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 47. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can ask for much more than that. He's on the run. He scrambled and picked up a couple of yards. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. rid of it third down eight yards to go all in the 49 get to that quickly good tackle there in space the offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long you can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment His man and they take him down immediately. And down he goes around the 25 yard line. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved him back. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 25-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a nice run, but it's short of the first down. Good play by the defense to stop him just short. Baylor could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Play. Tackle made around the 29-yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want to know this. That'll bring up second and three. He's to the 40. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. Makes the catch and look out, and they make the stop at about the 45. Really a nicely thrown ball and a good job by the receiver to run right under it. Makes it to the 42-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. 
There was some movement on the line. False start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback down. can do damage to a drive. Man, left, it's man, second left. down, 12 to go. Ball on the 47. Pass right, running back's got it. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle at the 38-yard line. So they're going to go for it here. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Ball start, offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches Ball have a low down. threshold for mistakes like that. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. Baylor has a three-point lead. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down around the 18-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's tackled at the 20. is out to the tailback on the screen. And they push him out at the 26. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. The 10. He scores. What a play. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Boise State is ready to kick it away. Nicholson fields it at the two. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. The question is, can they keep this pace up, though? I think that that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses. But I get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts clicking. After a decent pickup. Zips it to the tight end. Brought down right around the 34. Makes it to the 44. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle.
Fires that quickly, incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. He might not be able to get the pass off. And he tackles him hard at the 36. That's a loss of eight yards. That makes it fourth and nine. Butler is back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Boise State is up by four. Gets out to about the 31. Run and he's brought down. Good for a game of six yards. That would bring up third and two. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Game of six yards. Man left, man left. First down. Two down, two down. Mike Coyne, Mike Coyne, Mike Coyne. And he's tackled at about the 49. Young makes the tackle at the 49 yard line. That'll make it second and four. Gains his way to the 39 yard line. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That makes it second and 14. From the 44 yard line, second down. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. This is the eighth play of this drive. Boise State is up four. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And down he goes at about the 23-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Might have been some early movement up front. False start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Two down, two down. Mike Coy, Mike Coy, Mike Coy. And he's immediately tackled. First down. Slings it. The pass falls incomplete. Number 22, the intended receiver on the play. That From the 12 yard line. Second down. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Gets to about the 11 yard line. Madison gains about a yard on the play. That brings up third and 10. Two down, two down. 
under heavy pressure. Rose, and it's knocked away. It's always big when you can get in the way of a pass on third down because you know the offense is bringing it. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nicholson fields it at the three. Tackle at the 25. The Broncos are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down by And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Williams gets the call. They'll drop in for a loss. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Caught with room to work. And he's tackled in the open field. Number two right on the tackle at the 32 yard line. Third down. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. That's a game of one. That'll make it fourth and two. Butler is back awaiting the punt. They'll bring him down at the 35 yard line. Returns for a gain of 10 yards. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Boise State up seven points. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. First down. it in. Touchdown, Boise State. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Number six, such a return. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The Bears know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game in the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you've got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you've got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. Inside the 30. Tackle made right around the 20. Boy, just when it looked like they had a chance to get right back into this game, they throw the interception. Now it's still early. Let's see if their defense can bail them out. Got time 
from the 20 yard line. First down. Inside the 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. Call the game 17 yards. That makes it first and goal. Two down, two down. 87's getting the ball. Ooh. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and goal. From the six-yard line, it's second down. Two down, two down. Hey, Mike, 20, Mike, 20. He's taken down at about the three-yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. Loss of three yards on the play. Brings up fourth and goal. They're going to go for the easy three here. The kick is up, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nicholson from the seven. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. One of his receiver. Great hands there by the wide receiver. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't get a foot down in bounds. From their own 30-yard line, third down. He lets it fly. And he's got it. To the 10. Touchdown, Bears. Wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Well, that'll go down as a pretty long pass play, but he's got his playmaker to thank for doing most of the work. And he tacks on the extra point with a three-play, 72-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Well, Brad, right now, this offense is hot. And they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. The score now, 20 to 10. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the First field and find out. Clipping. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way back. First you just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. Offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. And they make the stop at the 19. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and nine. Quick pass. He's to the 40. The 50. He's knocked out of bounds at the 42. That's a gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and ten. Mike 
He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Bring him down at the 41 yard line. And they got him. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case. But it seems like the entire game, he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. This is a great punt-blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Nicholson takes it to 14. He's tackled at the 22. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. Brought down around the 50-yard line. Second and ten. right around the 36-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it second and ten. Throws a laser across the middle. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Smith picks up about four yards after keeping the ball on the option. Two minutes to go in the half. Run there. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll bring up third and two. And he's taken down at the six yard line. Baylor will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And he's tackled at the four. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of four on the play. That makes it third and goal. to him before he could get back to the line. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. This should be an easy field goal. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start. Offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch point. is going to be enough to draw the flag. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks away, and he's got it.
Collins all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Wilson has it at the five. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Boise State is up a score. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes around the 40-yard line. Boise State's going to take their first time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Number 87, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and one. made the 44-yard line. The Broncos call a timeout. That's their second of the half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. Going deep. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. He airs it out. This one will fall incomplete. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. the extra point a seven play 69 yard drive and it's good for seven points you know when you can throw the football as well as these guys can you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball he's to the 20 and he's taken down at the 27 yard line so we're just about ready to return to action Run and he's brought down. That makes it second and two. Looking for his man, incomplete. We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. 27 13, Bronco. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. When we come to the studio, I like to give you a peek behind the curtain. I don't want to just give you scores and highlights and analysis. I want to let you know what happens in here. Pull it back, brother. You know how good these offenses were in the first half. How good were these offenses? So good, you were loving it. <laughs> you have this big persona, big tough defensive guy. You were loving that offensive performance. I don't know what you're talking about. I went to the snack room about five minutes into this game. Not true. And, uh, it, it's, it is fun. You, you do appreciate good offense. I mean, Sometimes it's really bad defense, and then sometimes you see the designs of plays and the offensive coordinator dialing up, perfect time to go long. Think about it. You get a few good positive runs. Everybody starts to commit. You take shots down the field. Sometimes the offenses do dial up great plays. 
Sometimes the defenses afford them that opportunity by dialing up bad plays. Right now, the OCs are on point. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Fielded at the four. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. They're set to go for another round. Tackled after a decent pickup. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. Fires complete over the middle, and they make the stop around the 39-yard line. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 37. Going right, intercepted. They'll bring him down at the 41. Seven yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Gets to about the thirty four yard line. That brings up fourth and three. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Kicks up. No good. He pushed it to the right. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Here's the pass. Broken up. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 34. Caught with room to work. Yard line. Davis gets the tackle at the 44 yard line. That makes it first and ten. He gets out to about the 45 yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Check three, 
three, check three, check three. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Motion, motion. Nice play fake. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. Nicholson, the return man. It's a short kick. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's into the open field. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. He might have a chance. Makes it out to about the 40. Nice run up the middle. Around five yards there on the option keep. That brings up second and five. And they get nice yardage on that run. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to That'll bring up second and three. Check three, check three, check three. Makes it out to about the 29. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 29. Tackle around the 24-yard line. Amin makes the tackle at the 24-yard line. That makes it second and six. Check, check, check. Disco Raver! Disco check Raver! Three, check three, check three. Slings it. And he's level at the 20-yard line. Reception. Miles on the tackle at the 20-yard line. That'll make it third and one. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start, offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards Still to pick up down. for the first down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Misdirection handoff. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. That's a loss of two yards on the field. That'll bring up second and 11. It's the 11th play of the drive. The defense falls on it. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out.
After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. And they got him. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. It has the distance. No good. He hooked it right. We're about set to start things up again. Tackle right around the 28-yard line. Gain of two on the play. Side right, side right. That makes it second and eight. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike, 20, Mike, 20. Check yeah. three, check three. Check three. Check three. Just throws this one away. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 28-yard line. Wants to throw outside. Anderson makes the reception. That's a game of 31 on the play. First down. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Check out. Check this is four. Check three, check three. Check out. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. He might have a chance. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. six on the play. That makes it first and ten. He gets another carry. He fights forward to about the 23. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Check three, check three. Gets out to about the 21. He's going left. Incomplete pass. And the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Boise State ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gets out to about the 31. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. We played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. Boise State's lead is 17. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's taken down around the 37-yard line. Tackle 
tackle made at the 36-yard line. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They'll knock him down for a loss. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. They put some points on the board in their last drive, and they'll start this one in position to do much of the same. The defense has their backs against the wall here. They're really going to have to get aggressive if they want to keep the offense from scoring any points here. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And down he goes around the 17-yard line. Well, as you just saw right there, the screen pass can be a very effective weapon for an offense, especially when they're disciplined and when the receivers are patient. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. Gets out to around the six. That makes it first and goal. And he's tackled right away. Tackles him hard at the two-yard line. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it third and goal. Hey, Mike, 20, Mike, 20. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Let's see how the quarterback handles this one. It's third and goal from the seven. Madison picks up about five yards on that hookup. It's up, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 31. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. Hey, remember, you don't have to go for it on fourth down. The last time you had the football, you went for it on fourth down and you didn't convert. Just think about this. If you move the ball into your opponent's territory and you want to take a chance and it makes sense to go for it on fourth down, I understand that and I get it. But when you're in your own territory and it's fourth down and five or longer, just considering a punt would make me so happy. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 31. And he throws it away. Is out to the tailback on the screen. And they push him out at the 41 yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it fourth and inches. Go, 
He's at midfield, and they make the stop at the 46. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. Taken down around the 39 yard line. They'll bring him down around the 43 yard line. That brings up fourth and seven. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. Passes to the back, incomplete. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. He fights forward to about the 43. No game. That brings up second and nine. Hey, Mike, 20, Mike, 20. He fights forward to about the 46. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it 47. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Number 27 on the tackle at the 47 yard line. That'll make it fourth and six. Nicholson back to return it. From the 15, he makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. On the throw, incomplete pass. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Going long. Brought down at the 35-yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Here's a quick throw. Guns it in there. Touchdown. That was a well drawn up play for the wide. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he converts the extra point. yard line now what a game it's been for this quarterback Kirk oh he's obviously come in here with a plan he knows what he wants to do and he's just getting the job done
can it be that he'll lead his team to an impressive upset win? You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Less than three minutes in the game. He makes it to the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, second down. for a loss. The Bears will use their first time out of the half. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Trying to change the field position with his kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. So much of the passing game is about the time between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. He's hit and taken down. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. That makes it second and six. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. And so it's another third down upcoming here. A little over a minute in the game. He chucks it downfield. Caught! Touchdown! Huge play! Big touchdown, and now we're down to a one-score game. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 81-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. What a collision! And they could not recover the onside kick. Well, it's a nice job there by the return team to recover the football. Now they just want to run the clock out. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Give to the back and hit hard for a loss. Baylor's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 43-yard line, second down. at the 40-yard line. Baylor will use their final timeout. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say, that won the ball game. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it.
defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. He airs it out. He goes up and gets it. That tackle just sealed the deal. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Boise State 33, Baylor 27. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.